Welcome back to Pondicetta Road. I'm Caleb. I'm here in Austin for the entire weekend, but first I'm brewing a collab with my friends from Oddwood. Stay tuned for some free stickers. Hey guys, Caleb here. We're on the back patio at Oddwood Brewing in Austin, Texas. We're in the middle of our collab beer. <laughs> and we're outside, so you may hear some crazy sounds because it's just part of the patio. And if you didn't know any better, you'd think we were doing this on purpose. However, it's just gonna keep happening. Men at work. <laughs> Who, me? Oh, hi. My name's Taylor Zebarth. I'm one of the co-founders of Oddwood Ales. We're no What's longer Oddwood Ales, buddy. Good point. Oh. All right, sixth take. Hi, my name is Taylor Zebarth. I'm the co-founder of Oddwood Brewing. Out here with Caleb and ZZ talking about our collab. Hi, I'm ZZ Lazarine. I'm an assistant brewer and sales manager and generally bad but fun influence on this guy. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, guys. Uh, thanks for having me down to do this. Like, Of course, man. I know we've been trying to do this for, uh, what, like two plus years now? I think so. so. Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like it was... Did we talk about brewing a collab the first time? Two years ago, annual meeting probably. Uh, yeah. That's on, no, actually. Well, maybe so. Maybe so. Because I remember the first time I met you guys was, uh, you know, mutual friend Marco over at. Silver, oh right. Uh, introduced us, and we came here, and we got, you know, good and tore up. And uh, that's right. Made friends at that point, and then the last time we, I read it to you guys, and also we came back here and got <laughs> good and tore up, and we're like, we should do a collab. These guys like, are good at this. Yeah, let's, <laughs> yeah. Game recognizes game on the uh, front, so. Yeah, so I think uh, it was probably when we were in town brewing with Zilker, we came over here like either right before the brew day or right after the brew day. And that was that was definitely the first time we spent any time together. Um, but I'm pretty sure it was when we were sitting back here one night, like after after <laughs> hours, and we were just like, this is this feels right. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. so we're, we're kind of back in that spot right now. So what are we making today? We are making a rye IPA incorporating some domestic Texan ingredients, uh, some yield hops that we like, some fun Mochueca hops. What other hops are these? Uh, we got Columbus and Mosaic. Okay. And then the cryo so versions of both of those. Yes. Cryo versions, so spicy trio of hops. Uh, you know, rye is one of those ingredients that brewers are extremely nostalgic about. And every six to seven years, <laughs> a brewery wakes up one day and is like, I'm gonna put rye in a beer. It's because like I, it, it kind of has a malty, spicy, dry flavor that works well with these hops and uh, harkens back to some stuff that we grew up drinking. I'm being honest yeah. too, like there's part of me that feels like we did, if we said nothing about the rye, yeah. people would be like, yeah, that's awesome. Like, we'll, we'll drink that. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I never know that. Like, but we call things IPA and people buy them and we call them yeah. any variant of IPA and people do not buy them. So it's, That's it's, an interesting thing. Corey and I were talking about that earlier. Yeah. We'll see. I mean, we'll we'll see. I am curious about that, but I do. I, I think it's going to taste awesome. I think it's going to taste awesome. Subgenres of IPA be damned. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's going to be a very hard hitting West Coast ish IPA. Heavy on the ish. On the ish. Yeah. yeah. What is a West Coast IPA? That's uh, that's actually a pretty good a good question. You know, when I was cool thinking stuff. about it, sort of recipe wise, like I definitely have been inspired re recently by the you know kind of modern super like you know pilsner malt like that's it kind of west coast like modern west coast ipas um this one's obviously we're doing a little bit more than that but it's still gonna be a relatively light body it should be you know pretty crisp drinking i don't you know i like that kind of i like that in almost every beer to be perfectly honest that's just sort of you know, <laughs> you know my palate kind of would you say flavor? you like to drink a lot of them at one time i mean so i would I'm generally a volume drinker uh, in terms of like I want to be able to have more than one. I don't right. want to just sit with one very kind of chunky, you know, sort of. And, and to be fair, I was making that sound pointed, but I didn't mean it that way no, because no, no. truly, yeah, it's like <laughs> we're brewers. We, <laughs> we're right. We like beer first yeah. of all. Yeah, Second of all, all like street. drinkable is um, like such Critical. a key like factor in this. Yeah. yeah, in some ways, like you know, for us, it's like it's for us to sort of discuss the like you know, kind of the intricacies of every, like, kind of malt combination, every hop combination, whatever, but, like, the customer, there's some amount of binary, like, do I want to drink this, and do I want to drink another one? That's a, yeah. yeah, that's a great point. I mean, we kind of, you kind of skirted around it earlier, but, like, 
we made a slightly different selection of beer style for what we're making today than we made a year ago in Amarillo, and partly that's the consumers, and at the end of the day, we have to be able to sell these beers. I mean, like, we're gonna wanna drink them, but... Yeah, yeah, you know, have to have why else. you brew an IPA or a lager. <laughs> hey guys, sorry I missed the collab. That doesn't mean I can't shotgun with you in spirit. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, y'all. We've actually had talks about like what we want collabs to look like and you know there's some amount of like obviously we need to sort of see eye to eye on the on the actual product but most of it is like we want to do collabs with people we like you know that's right. really like the long and short of it. it's like if you have a good time then probably we'll manage to come up with something that's good sure that's cool ideas and all that kind of stuff so yeah and i think that's a i think we could relate on that trevor and i similarly would want to collab just with people that we respect and want to spend time with like you know, I think that goes along, like, so much further than, um, you know, we've certainly been asked to do some more, like, marketing-centric collabs. We and synergies. Market, market synergies. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, and that's kind of, that's, I think, where we're all at, too, is, like, I don't really want to, personally, I don't really want to do a marketing collab. Um, unless, of course, Sierra Nevada wants to do a marketing collab. <laughs> yeah. If you are, let us know. Comment um, below. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tag at Oddwood or at Pondacetta. <laughs> just, just come through, Ken. Either way. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, no, in general, no. I mean, like, you know, there's some where it's like, you, you have to, I mean, you, I guess you do think about it, but, like, just, I don't want to actually think about it. I would rather just sure. have a good time and enjoy what we're doing and, enjoy that we, you know, are all part of this industry that requires you to be very, like, kind of driven and passionate and all that kind of stuff, and you have that in common with somebody, so it's usually fun to talk about, you know. Yeah, it is important to me, like, very important to me that whatever we're putting out is something that, like, I can stand behind and, you know, I'm happy to drink myself, and, you know, that's, that's it. Like, for me, is you know, I, I like that there's a tangible product in this anyway. Like, I like that I can say, like, okay, so, you know, we're done with this now, we when, you know, we've canned it, we've put it on the wall, whatever. Like, here is a thing, and, uh, you know, it's kind of like an extension of well, how you feel about, like, making something, and that's important thing to me. Which is why this Imperial Pilsner cookie dough stout is going to rip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good transition right there. Um, so I kind of remember it was a little over a year ago, you guys came up to Amarillo and brewed with us, and we made Boot Cut, and... Totally different beer than we're making today. <laughs> yeah. But I think that's like that's there's part of the fun of this. <laughs> yeah, there's like yeah, there's some through lines, but yeah, you know, it's like that one was um I really liked how that one turned out. I was just sort of like brainstorming any way to do something kind of remotely like that and was just sort of struggling to come up with something that I don't know, made as much natural sense for down here. Like we don't sure. we, you know, ingredients-wise, it's hard for us to pull anything that's, like, too super close to us. Right. Um, and, you know, from there, I was just like, well, let's just, like, focus on making a kick-ass beer, you know? Right. Um, and that, that was really, like, kind of what it was for me, is I was, like, conceptually struggling to get around it. Whenever I talked to y'all, I was just like, this isn't, like, I don't know, this doesn't, like, fit well in my head, I guess. Well, I mean, I, you know, obviously, we so we call Boot Cut a land beer, which... <laughs> Basically means nothing, but on the other hand, it's, it was for like, that. which was like a fun concept, and we used local, like as lo as close as we could, local ingredients. And I mean, the malt for that was actually grown like within a few miles of our brewery. Um, harder to accomplish that same thing in Central Texas, just climate conditions and everything yeah. else. Yeah. But uh, we actually we're using Tex malt today, yeah. which is also primarily grown up in the Amarillo area. So that's kind of a fun like through line for this. Yeah, that, definitely. That was kind of why I was leaning towards Tex malt is I wanted to have some kind of through line. Um, and, you know, that seemed like the most feasible way to kind of do it. And also it's just kind of fun trying new ingredients. We don't get to use them much, so. Sure. You know. I mean, that's definitely like probably one of the fun things about collabs. It's a good excuse to throw something else out. Like, you know, well, we would normally spend this money on this ingredient, but like, fuck it, let's like, let's grab that and try it out. Where does the name Oddwood come from? It's been so long. Uh, we, I, we used to do, so the brewery started as a side project that was mostly, in fact, all wood-aged beers, which is pretty funny thinking about where we are now. A little different. A wood-aged beer. 
Um, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was all wood, wood aged beers and heavy on blending and wild ales and, you know. Okay, so I don't remember the name of it, but I think I bought your first packaged bottled beer I, at Central Market, what would have been like 2014? It was creatively named Saison. Ooh. <laughs> um, which is Classic. A, you know, a style I came up with all myself, actually. Founder. Uh, <laughs> founder of the Saison style. <laughs> we haven't talked about this on our YouTube channel yet, but like, if I'm gonna go to a brewery and make an assessment of their beer, I mean, probably gonna start with one of their like easier to drink lighter beers because you know, like when you have that beer, if they do it well, like the rest of the menu is likely to be pretty fucking good. Yeah, yep. exactly. There's like nowhere to hide behind anything on a, you know, Pilsner or Hellas or whatever. Like, right. right. <laughs> yeah, they get the basics right, I mean, that's usually a good sign. We just wrapped up our brew day here at Oddwood, and I can't wait for you guys to try this collab. But I want to say thanks to the Oddwood guys and Community Cultures for donating some yeast. Like, subscribe, and comment below your favorite beer destination city, and you'll get some free stickers. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Cheers guys. <laughs>